have a bunch of radiant floor tubing that we want to install. There's the tube over there. And it comes in these rolls. And uh, the sisters had a little challenge unraveling those rolls in a video or two back or a couple months ago. So I thought I would build a roller stand that would allow that tubing to sit on the roller and uh, just come off much more easily. So Very nice. Now so we're installing the PEX uh, water tubing so that we can heat our floors because that's so what our main source of heat. Roll. So right now we're taking wow. these uh, nice aluminum panels and we put the PEX tube in and we put it up towards the floor so that it will maximize on the energy by spreading the heat so it reflects off of the, the aluminum and disperses more throughout the floor. So this is an exciting job Sister Maria and I are working on today. How are you enjoying being in the joists with me? The Lord says rejoice and be glad. For yours is the kingdom of God. <laughs> but I was about to start calculating the amount of siding we need for our building. Wow. <laughs> Emailing and going over lists of materials that we still need to order for the exterior of the building. So I've been comparing previous quotes so we can request a new quote with all the correct materials and quantities and electrical stuff. Planning the electrical. Here we have Sister John Paul Marie and Jerome building the footing for what will eventually be the outdoor furnace that will heat the convent. Looks like the Triple B team have been really good teachers because now they can do it all on their own. And Max explained I took today. Can you tell us why, Max? Because it's a little chilly out. It's uh, starting to become sweater weather. It's not uh, summer anymore. <laughs> so as we enter into the season of fall and the team begins to shiver a little bit, it's the perfect time for a delivery of timbers. Timber trusses, that is. But not the kind you would find on a pirate ship. Hi, my name is Adam Weiger with uh, Tree Nine Structures, and this is our first big job. I'm excited that it is a convent to be working with all the sisters here towards the project. Uh, we have some big, nice trusses for their chapel. Uh, king post trusses with curved collar ties at the bottom and curves uh, struts as well. All mortise and tendon joinery with black locust pegs and then we have some super strong tension connections with uh, timber links in the center and then super large screws on the rafters. Awesome. So my name is Mark. I'm the uh, founder and owner of Tree Nine Structures. And so this is our, uh, our project here with the uh, Queen Ship Mary community. It's been uh, about a year now we've worked with uh, the community and the design process with the engineering firm, the architectural firm. Uh, it's really nice to be on site now today to actually see it live. Uh, the crew has been doing some amazing work. And we at the shop have been busy for the last few months to get these trusses ready. Um, and they'll be going up Monday. And so it's been a great experience because uh, it's like it's a home-built residence, and it's, it's fun to watch, actually. So we're, we're quite proud to be here, and Monday we'll have these trusses up. Paul in his little mini elevator. <laughs> yeah, I could just send you up and down from down here. Can you? Yeah. Okay. Looks like Mother wanted to join in on the fun and it's going to the heights to take in the beautiful view. So, I'm just prepping all the pieces of membrane for the flashing around the windows. This is what will keep the water and the air from the outside out of the building. Um, we'll have air coming in for fresh air, but that's a different system. So this is to keep the cold air where it's supposed to be and the warm air where it's supposed to be. And to make sure we don't have water coming into our windows. <laughs> These will be cozy windows. 
Is it gonna be big enough for him to escape? It's low enough. They're not letting the rhinoceros. Now it's time to seal the deal and do a little bit of waterproofing on the exterior of the building. Call it so for seal? Yeah. Membrano. Membrana con barrera de aire. <laughs> So we have with us Sister Larissa, whom you always knew as Larissa, the Polish Julian is now Sister Larissa, the novice, and Sarah Dimitri from Edmonton area, Alberta. Hello. She's come to discern with us this year, so mm -hmm. pray for her. I am cutting the elephant skin. <laughs> yeah. So I have measured it all out so we don't waste any. And yeah, I'm just cutting so then we put up on the wall. And that keeps the moisture out and it has elephants on it and it breathes so and it's breathable <laughs> for the lungs of our continent and to keep the water out so it's a big sticker so you peel off the back and then you stick it down and then roll it to make sure it's all super okay. stuck so how many windows do you have? Uh, there's a hundred wow. windows in the building for real? What? Yeah. Wow. Praying, set me as a seal on your convent. So we have these oh, things. Yes. These are resisto strips, and they we like kind of fold them into the corners of the windows to be just extra bit of water sealant in like a potentially watery area. Resisto devil. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so our anthem today is resist the devil, and he will take flight. And so will the water. Hello, um, this is my first day on the job site with tools. So prima, that's what I think about this lovely member. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Cut. And after some hard work, our novices sit down for their first meal in the mother house. Over there. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine it. Next time on Sister the Tree Nine team are back to install the timber trusses. How's it going up there, Christian? Good, that's awesome.